Welcome back to Blossoming Homestead. I have just started my journey with gardening and as I was doing research and talking to my sister, she had me watch the Back to Eden Method. And if you're a gardener, you probably know what that is. If you don't know what it is, you should check it out. You could just Google it and find videos on it. Essentially, you use wood chips in your garden. The wood chips help bring nutrients back into the soil and give it added moisture. It holds the moisture in better. So I tried that this year. I signed up for a chip drop. And if you haven't heard of chip drop, what you do is you look it up online and what they do is it's arborists who cut down trees for other people they need to get rid of those wood chips and a lot of times they have to drive it to the dump and pay the dump however much it is to drop the wood chips off i won't say trash because wood chips are not trash the point of chip drop is it creates a place for these arborists to drop these wood chips off without having to go pay the dump and without having to trash these wood chips because they're good for nature, you can use them. So we did chip drop <laughs> and I remember walking out in the morning one morning and going, oh my gosh, it's here. There was a ton of wood chips all along the park strip in the road. <laughs> <laughs> and I think my husband was a little bit nervous <laughs> but I knew it was going to be a good thing and I was determined to get those wood chips dispersed into my yard and to help out my yard because my yard has been an area of death and weeds and I've always had a black thumb but as you can see This year is different. So, here's the wood chips. Everything's growing and thriving, and I know that I'm not having to water as much because I have them in there. So, I highly recommend a chip drop. Everything's growing so well, everything's green. My plants are like 10 feet tall. Um, and I know that they're just gonna keep producing and going. So, if you're looking into a chip drop, I highly recommend it. So here's some pictures of our chip drop. Okay, so with chip drop, you sign up and it's not something you pay for and it's not something that is definite. So you're not definitely gonna get those wood chips dropped off at your house. With ours, I live fairly close to a dump and we had just had a windstorm. And I think it was like two, three weeks after I signed up for chip drop. And I was thinking, oh, I'm not gonna get any wood chips and my garden's gonna suffer because my soil is stinky <laughs> and everything in my yard dies. Um, so I was pretty bummed. And then I went out and it was there. Um, so with mine, like I said, I, I'm not far from a dump. We had a huge windstorm and I knew trees had been blown over. And so I was lucky. My sister, she signed up three times cause they'll ask you if you still want it, if it's been a while and you haven't gotten it. So she really wants the chip drop. It's just one of those things. It's kind of luck of the draw, but if you're looking into it, I would definitely do it. Just make sure you're ready with the wheelbarrow and shovels because it's a workout <laughs> so if you want to do the back to eden method definitely sign up i don't know if i recommend putting them on your root vegetables like your carrots and stuff um just because once you pull those out if you go to re-put stuff in the ground it might be kind of hard you gotta scoot those back 
but between the back to Eden method and not doing wood chips, so wood chips and not, I highly recommend wood chips. Now in my yard, I had an issue with earwigs. I felt like it was an issue. I didn't address it. I said in past videos, this was kind of like a COVID garden, kind of panicked and was like, I need to learn how to garden and be doing these things. This is something I should know that I didn't know enough of. So with the earwigs, I didn't know that they love wood. <laughs> So adding wood chips on top of earwigs was kind of a rough situation. They did decimate my plants quite a bit. Look at the, look at the, look at this. You should show it. Can you see them? We have a ton of dragonflies flying over our heads. <laughs> so with wood chips, earwigs love them. When I did my garden, I was having an issue already earwigs were eating my plants. I didn't know what it was though. I didn't learn until I, my mom talked to somebody at the nursery later on that that was earwig damage in my garden. So I added wood chips on. I didn't know that I shouldn't yet. <laughs> I added wood chips on in my garden. I lost like 10 zucchini baby plants. Um, so that was pretty rough. Uh, but I put out traps, which this is why I have ugly, ugly things in my garden. Any container that you see in my garden with weird liquid in it, it's a container with oil um, because it attracts the airwigs and they go in there and they can't get back out. So I have earwig traps all over here now and everything's doing great and I'm not seeing the damage from the earwigs. So if you have earwigs, put traps out, try to deal with those things. Once you get your wood chips and you put them out, keep traps out just for a while at least to make sure that your plants are okay because nothing's more frustrating than spending hours upon hours digging up a bed, digging up another bed and another one just to have the earwigs destroy it. But like I said, earwigs are attracted to wood chips so you need to deal with that problem. But I would get rid of earwigs and still get the wood chips because they have been great. So I definitely recommend a chip drop. All right, that does it for this video. If you have a question about chip drop, I'm not one of their representatives, but I can try to answer it. So if you leave that question in the comments, I'll try to get back to you and help you out with any information you need to know. And yeah, thanks for joining me today. See ya.